after his resurrection. He spent these 40 days with the men, instructing them and comforting them and, 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 spilling time, and spending time with them to assure them, although I'm going away, but I'm not going away. Yeah, yeah. After spending 40 days with, with them, Jesus uh, uh, and the disciples, uh, they began to uh, go to the Mount of Olives, the, or the Mount of Olives. They were standing there. He gave them some final words. He gave them some final instruction. Then while they are watching him and while they are listening to him, he began to rise. He began to ascend into the heaven. Suddenly, he is gone. He is taken from their presence, and they are left with bewilderment on the mount without him. Now, you got to picture this. We got to picture this. I'm trying, I'm going to move as fast as I can tonight because I want to get somewhere where, what are you looking at? Now, picture this. Now, uh, uh, while he was uh, uh, experienced the tragic death on Calvary, and, they, and many of them had the opportunity to experience that. They had the opportunity to see that. And, and, and because he had died and because their dreams had been crushed, the Bible said that they, they left that place or they left the cross and they went and hid because they thought what happened to Jesus was going to happen to them. They thought what happened to Jesus was going to happen to them. Now, now, now their hope had come back. Their hope came back because Jesus appeared unto them. He had risen, he had got up from the garden. Y'all know the story. After three days and three nights, he got up with all powers in his hand. But when he got up, one of the first places he went was to visit the disciples. He went to visit them, the Bible said, to get the infallible proof that you can't kill what God has started. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he gave an infallible proof after his passion, after the crushing that he went through. I, 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 I'm reminded that they forgot what he said because he had said that if you tear this temple down, I will rebuild it in three days. So it appeared unto them. They, they, so so now, now they, they have a little hope. They have a little hope. He's spending time with them to kill him. And he's talking to his guys. He's talking to the one that he recruited. He's talking to the one that he had made disciples. Uh, he's talking to them that he had spent plenty of time. Now he had come to them for 40 days. And now they are all excited. They, they done got bold again. They ready to cast out demons again. They ready to do their thing again. But Jesus began to teach them. He said, I didn't, I didn't come to stay this time. I didn't come to do what I did last time in the form that I did it in. But the reason I'm coming back to you at this moment, I'm coming back to you to teach you uh, what I've done because what I'm getting ready to do, I'm getting ready to leave you all that I've established. It. Matter of fact, he said, the works that I'm doing, I need for you to do greater. I'm going to talk to somebody tonight. What are you looking at? Look, look, the works that I'm doing, the works that I've done, I need for you to do greater. So they all excited. They, they all got enthusiasm. They got all kind of energy going on. They're excited. Here's their Lord. Here's their Savior. Here's their Jesus. Here's their King of Kings. Here's their Rock of Asia. Here's this brother who's getting ready to deliver Israel. And now while he's talking to us, he's going away again. That's what the story said. Why he, why he's instructing them, why he's giving them information of their assignment, of the ministry that he's leaving them, the work that he's leaving them. The Bible said, why he's speaking, why he is sharing with them, he began to rise up. He began to go up in the sky. And why he's going up, the Bible said, they start looking up. It said they look into heaven. And then, then the next verse said, and while they were gazing, I'm going to talk about that in a second. While they were gazing up, that there appeared unto them some men, uh, angels appeared unto them in, in white and said, the same Jesus. What you looking at? The same Jesus. Y'all going to catch it at midnight. The same Jesus. That you looking at. It's the same Jesus. Here's your shout right here. I don't care what you're going through right now. It's the same Jesus that can deliver you. So, so I said all that to say this. The thought I want to talk about tonight. 
all I want to preach about on a question. And that question is, what are you looking at? In a world, in a world, Lewis, in a world filled with distractions and temptation, this question is more relevant than ever before. Where are you looking at? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. What are you talking about, preacher? What are you talking about? What am I looking at? I, I, I'm making an assumption tonight that you're looking at Washington. I'm making an assumption tonight. I know you say what you're looking at, but truly because, because every time something is released out of your mouth, I, I should be talking about you. I should be talking about all of us. We're looking at Washington. We're looking at Montgomery. We're looking at what the world is doing and what they have to offer. But I want to submit to you tonight that we need to take the stance of the disciples. Not only do we need to look, but we need to gaze towards the heavens. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, more relevant question is, what you looking at? What are you looking at? Matter of fact, matter of fact, Hebrews, Hebrews 12 and 2 says this, Ricky. Hebrews 12 and 2 says this, Ali. It says that, 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 that we are to look unto Jesus. I wish I could preach it the way I feel it. I wish I, I wish I felt good now. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Somebody say, my faith, my faith. Come on, say it like, like, like he's the one that started you. He's the one that has given you hope. He's the one that's going to see you through. It, it, he, he, he's the author and the finisher of your faith. And, 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 and the only reason he's that, the only reason he's that, mama, the only reason he can be the author and the finisher of faith is because it was the joy that was set before him. Here's your shout. He endured the cross. I, I know the disciples were disappointed, and you got some disappointments right now, too. I know they were scared, and they were bewildered, and they went into the room, and, and, and they didn't want what happened to Jesus and happened to them, but he came back to give them hope. He came back to give us hope. He endured the cross. Okay, okay, okay. I feel old church right. He did it so that I don't have to do it. He died so that I can live. Yeah. The reason, the reason you feeling confused, the reason you feeling distracted, the reason you feeling like you about to lose your mind because you looking at the wrong thing. Y'all ain't talking to you. Are you're looking? You're looking. At the wrong thing. Ask your neighbor for the second time tonight, what you looking at? Now, that's way when I said it first, I asked the question first, what are you looking at? But I'm getting a little bit thaily on me now. What you looking at? What you, what you looking at? He, he's the one that we need to keep our eyes on. I, I got to continue, ladies and gentlemen, to look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith. He endured the cross. He, he despised the shame. Yeah, and now he's seated on the right hand of the throne of God. This scripture tells us to, to look beyond our circumstance, to look beyond what we're dealing with and focus on Jesus. But what does it mean to fix your eyes on him? What does it mean to look at you? It means it mean that you and I must intentionally direct our attention away from the storms of life to the Savior of the world. Again, again, I would like to submit to you, I would like to submit to each of you tonight, the reason life seems like that, 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 that the storm keep raging in your life, uh, the reason it seems like that, that you more focus on the thunder and the lightning, it is because you're here. But if you can fix your eyes on Jesus, if you can look at the, the one who bled, suffered, and died for you, if you can look at the one who has the power, not just to, to, to start you and to finish you, but the one that has the, the power to make you over again. Yeah. Here's, here's, a, here's Dr. Bates, here's a, uh, one of the things that happened in scriptures, uh, an individual that took their eyes off Jesus. 
you, you know the story. You know how the, how the storm was coming, and and, and 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 Peter thought that he saw some out on the water, somebody on the water, and he said, you know, I'm not quite sure what it is, but. Uh, 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 I can't recognize, I, I, I don't have enough eyesight, I don't have enough vision to see who it really is. It's somebody or something, but I just don't know who it is. And the Bible said that Jesus responded to, that, to, that, to, to, to Peter and those that was on the boat, it is I. And, 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 and those in the boat, especially Peter in the boat, he said, it sounds like the master. It sounds like the one that hung on that tree. Uh, uh, that's going to hang on the tree. It sounds like that, but I'm not sure. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes uh, uh, with this, this turmoil that we're going through, sometimes with the confusion that we're going through and the hard time that we're going through, sometimes you might not be able to recognize Jesus' present, but you should be able to recognize his voice. Because Peter said in the midst of the storm, y'all don't know where they shout at. Peter said in the midst of the storm, Lord, if it be you, talk to me. Okay, I'm sorry, that dick is a translate. Lord, if it be you, bid me to come. Yeah. And, and before you make any move in a critical situation, matter of fact, before you make any move at all, you ought to consult, Lord, is this you right. or is this me? Yeah. Is this you or is it me? Is the devil? Is this you? Is it me, the devil, and my friend? Is this you? Is it me, the devil, my friend, my friend? Is it you? You got to ask the Lord, what you looking at? You looking at honey boo? You looking at sugar dad? Y'all ain't liking me, but I come to get you tonight. You looking at church? You looking at everything else, but what your eyes ought to be fixed on. In, in verse 3 and 4, if you read, read it real carefully, Pastor, if you read it real carefully, verse 3 and 4, uh, before you look at him, he got to first show up. Yeah. Verse 3 and 4 says, and he appeared unto them. He got the first appear. Everybody say appear. And then when he appeared to you, look, look at the scripture, 3, 4, and 5. Now, verse 3, 4, and 5, moving quick. Three, four, the, verse 3 and 4 said, he appeared unto, or he showed himself. Verse 3, he showed himself. By from a passion, the infallible proof that I'm still alive. He showed him, my, my, kind of, I, I can't pass this, this ain't my note. I'm get, listen, he's getting ready to show somebody in this room tonight that your dream is still alive, that you still got hope. You Listen, I don't care what has happened over the past two weeks, over the past week, there is still hope because there is still hope in the cross of Christ. Yeah. He, he, he showed himself. He showed himself. Infallible proof. You, know, you can't deny this. I saw you bleeding. I saw how they gave you the vinegar. I saw how they pierced you in the side. I saw when they rolled the stone over and said, this heathen said he was going to get it. I saw people say, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. And they did that to you. John said, I saw John said, I stayed there. I feel like shouting all by myself right now. Just I stayed there to make sure that they didn't do what they, uh, everything that they wanted to do to him. Yeah. You know, John was the last one that still at the cross. John and Mary, they still at the cross. They still at the John, John said, I know he did. I'm sad about it. I'm hurt about it. I'm disappointed about it. But I'm more glad that he showed up, that, they, that, that his word is true. He said that if I die, I'm going to get up. Y'all still miss them telling somebody in here. I know some stuff seems like that is not going to come to pass. I know some people have told you that some stuff is dead in your life. But I got a word for you tonight. It ain't dead. He's still alive and your dream is still alive. So he appeared. He appeared. He appeared, Pastor. He appeared. He appeared, Mama has. He appeared. But after he appeared, no, notice, what his, notice what the scripture said. He appeared to them. He showed us that then he assembled them. It's right there, it's right there, it's right there, it's right there. He, assemb he appeared, then he assembled. Uh, and when he assembled, he began to instruct. He began to talk to them. He began to show them uh, what he needed them to do. My brothers and sisters, every day we are bombarded with images of the news and opinion that get our attention and our attention. To stuff. He assembles you so that you can focus on him. The reason they were able to see him go up, because they never took his eyes off him. Y'all miss what I just said. Y'all miss what I just said. See, see, when he show up 
and he, and he gathered us together. He assembled us together. You can't take your mind off it. You can't take your eyes off. So my question to you tonight, what you looking at? I know what you're looking at. I just read it. You're looking at images. You're looking at the news. You're looking at you're getting all these other opinions. You're looking at social media feeds. I didn't get zero amen. You're looking at social media feed with constant stream of information that's leading us to be worried, that's leading us to be uh, uh, comparing one another, that's leading us to despair, that's causing depression because it looked like your sister and brother got it going on. Let, let me tell you something about social media. All you're supposed to do on social media is show them your good stuff. Okay, if you're showing them bad stuff, that's you. You the cuckoo for Coco Puff. Don't get mad with the other person because they doing it. Don't get depressed over that. It ain't real. Somebody shout, it ain't real. Matter of fact, the reason it ain't real, because it, it might be real to you, but, but the reason it shouldn't be real because your eyes are not fastened on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can't, we got we to be able to call to look at him. We got to be called to look at him, look at Jesus. We have to focus on his promise. Everybody say focus on your promise. Not only that, but we must focus on his presence. We got to get back to looking for God's presence. We got to get back looking for God's promise. I'm looking for a miracle. I expect the impossible. Huh? The sky is the limit. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. I'm trying to show you why the disciple was looking up toward heaven. Y'all didn't read the same thing I read. It said they were looking steadfastly. You do know what that looking steadfast means? It means that they were looking. I, I believe this here. I believe it here that they were men of color. They were looking there, bucking their eyes. Say, So regardless of what was going on around them at that moment, their eyes still were looking up. Their eyes still were looking at this same Jesus that was going up. And the angel of penitence gave them even greater hope. Because, because, because truth be told, the King James Version, when the Bible said they looked up and they glazed, this word glazed carried the characteristic uh, that they were looking in a way of bewilderment. They were looking in a way of disappointment because he was leaving them again. So the angel had to say, listen, he ain't gone. He might be gone now, but he's coming back. I, I, sometimes we as disciples, we have short memories. He just told us in the previous verses that, that listen, I got to go away. Because if I don't go away, I can't send nobody just like me. I can't send the Holy Ghost. And when I send the Holy Ghost, you're going to have power. You're going to be endowed with power from on high. The power I got, I just told you, he taught them the, the works that I'm doing, you're going to do it too. I'm giving you this ministry. Matter of fact, oh, here's your shout right here. God ain't going to give you nothing that he don't equip you to do it with. Yes, sir. Yeah. But you got to keep your eyes on him. What you looking at? Looking at you looking at when Jesus stood with his disciple at the Mount of Olives. He instructed them their tasks and his truth, and he suddenly was taken to heaven. The Bible said that he was caught in a cloud. Everybody say in a cloud. Remember, I just said that you got to keep your eyes on his promise. You got to keep his eye on his prayer. The cloud represents God's presence. When he was caught up in the cloud, it's somebody that God wrapped his arms. Around his son. Ah, God said, I know what you just told him. I know the promise. You just left him. I'm going to listen, listen. I'm going to wrap you up in this promise, in this cloud, in my presence. Because when you come back, you come back in a different kind of way. I got a word for somebody in this room tonight. Listen, the Father has already wrapped that promise up. He's already put it in his presence. He's already declared that the word, when I send my word for it, it would not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish the thing wherein I have sent it. Here's your word. God's going to do it. I feel like it should have been Sunday morning. I would have had somebody shouting right there. I say, God is going to do it. 
Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you can hold your head up now. There should be no word. There should be no doubt. There should be no schism going on about you. He's already wrapped the promise up in his present, and it's going to come to pass in your life. I don't know what God has promised you. I don't know what God has said to you. I don't know what God want to do in your life, but whatever it is, it's going to come to pass. For the third time, push on your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's going to come to pass. Come on, you got to preach it to say, neighbor, it's going to come to pass. Uh, you got to say it in your preaching voice. Huh? Drop it a hot tank. Say, neighbor, it's going to come to pass. Whatever God has said to you, uh, whatever God has said over you, uh, it's been wrapped in his presence, huh? and God is going to bring it to pass. Push on your neighbor. I'm feeling good now. And tell your neighbor, it's going to come to pass. Sit down, Benita. Hallelujah. It's, it, 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 it's going it's to come to pass. It, it's it's going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I know it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. It don't matter who the governor is. It don't matter who the president is. It don't matter who the superintendent is. It don't matter who the chief is. It don't matter who the mayor is. It don't matter who the preacher is. It's still going to come to pass. I just told him they tried to kill him. But he showed back up with infallible proof that I'm still God. I'm still the Savior. My promise is still going to come to pass. I wish I had somebody tonight knew that God has not left you. He has not forsaken you. He's still going to bring it to pass. If you believe it, open up your mouth and give God a shout. Yeah. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Stop looking at your problems. Stop looking at your situation. Stop looking at your predicament. Stop looking at your hurt. Stop looking at your pain. Look to Jesus. That same Jesus that got up from the grave. That same Jesus. He's coming back. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible said, the Bible said, the Bible said that, that it said that, that they, that in verse, around by verse 10, verse 9, verse 10, he said that, 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 that after he ascended to the heaven, his disciples looked toward heaven and, and they, 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 they said, and the Bible said they were gazing into heaven. The word, the word looks steadfastly, and the word gaze translated uh, is, is the same word. Listen, this word means to fasten the eyes upon, to look intensely at something. It means to transfix, to transfix your eyes on Jesus as he was ascending to heaven. The Bible said that, that there was amazed. The NLT or the NIV, one of those translations said he was amazed at what, uh, 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 what was taking place. They were amazed at what was taking place. They were amazed at what was taking place. Can you imagine just sitting there talking to somebody and all of a sudden they just start being carried off into the heaven? The Bible said they, they were amazed at, this, at, the, at, at, at what was taking place. They were amazed at, y'all still ain't got them trying to help somebody. They were amazed at what, what was taking place. Here's your word for the night. Get ready for God to amaze you. I thought I would have got a better shout than that right there. Let me try this again right here. Get ready. I, I just said you should be looking for a miracle. You should be expecting the impossible. I'm telling you, get ready for God to amaze you. God is about to blow your mind. I didn't get but 10 shouts right there. Let me try that again. I need all of y'all in this room to help me shout right here. And I need you to tell God, God amaze me. Blow my mind, God. Do the impossible, God. This is all I'm trying to say. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Not that has the end in the heart of man. The things. 
that God has prepared for you. God amazed me. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. Is there anybody ready for God to blow your mind? Are you ready for God to do the spectacular in your life? Lift your hand in this gigantic place and say, Lord, amaze me. God, do a miracle. I need a miracle. I need a blessing. I need a breakthrough. I need something amazing to happen in my life. If you believe it, shout. Y'all didn't shout good enough. I say, if you believe it, shout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He'll appear to you. He will assemble you. And he'll amaze you. Y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. First of all, he's going to appear to you. You should have shouted right there that he's going to show up in your situation. He's going to assemble you. He's going to bring it all together. Okay, this for 20, y'all right here. He's working it for your good. All things work. He's assembling it. He's putting it together. He's assembling it. He showed up to put you together. Y'all missed for that. I feel like shouting by myself. I say he showed up to put you together. I dare you to help me preach. Say, Lord, put me together. Put me back together. I've been broken. I've been shattered. But put me back together. If you need the power of God to put you back together, open up your mouth and give him praise. Yeah, he appeared to you. He assembled you. And when he puts you back together and you look at yourself, you're going to be amazed of what God has done. What he done for others. I say, what he done for others. He can certainly do for you. Somebody, anybody. Everybody, open up your mouth and give God a praise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all still ain't got it? I'm waiting, to, I'm waiting on you to say yes to what God will do in your life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He want to do it. He got to do it. He's going to do it in your life. One more time. Shout to the heavens. Look to the heavens and tell God, amaze me. And he has he has, he has, he has assembled himself. He has, he has appeared. He has assembled. He has amazed. I'm almost through. I'm almost through. I'm almost through. I got a word. I got a word for him. He's, he, he, he ain't through with you yet. He, he, he's not finished yet. He's not finished. Remember, he's the author and finished. He ain't finished yet. Matter of fact, I hear the Lord say, he, he ain't middle ways yet. He's still working on you. That's some stuff that you still got to possess. That's some stuff that still got to come to pass in your life. He ain't through with you. Yeah, he's working. He's continuing to work on you. Yeah. He, he, that, there's, three, there's at least three reasons why Jesus had to go to heaven. At least three reasons he had to go to heaven. Three reasons. Just, keep, just make sure you keep 
uh, up here. Make sure you keep assembled. Make sure you keep amazement in. Somebody can do this later on. This mine right now. Just, just do that. Just do that. Keep that in mind because there's one more. The one reason he had to go to heaven. Number one reason. Number one reason. Those should take no. Number one reason. Uh, 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 Elder States. Number one reason he had to go to heaven. Uh, uh, so that the spirit of God had to come. He had to go to heaven because the spirit would not come. He said, it's speedy that I go away. Because if I don't go away, I can't send the Holy Ghost. I got to go. I, I know y'all don't want me to go. I know you don't want me to go. I, but I got to get out of here because I got to send the comforter to you. I got to go. When Jesus died on the cross, the disciple was filled with fear. And even after the resurrection, some of them still was quite uh, confused. And they quite were still full of fear. These men were a star to be without Jesus. And they didn't want him to leave, so Jesus said, I, I got to go, I got to go, I got to go. So he left, he left. First reason he left, because the Holy Spirit had to come. He had to come. Second reason, second, it's all here in the text. Uh, second reason he had to leave, because he wanted to walk by faith. That's why the comfort to, that's why the Holy Spirit again, it, it's somebody that can walk alongside us. It, the Holy Spirit, Jesus, 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 the God here. Of the Holy, he, he's somebody that, that can live with us. I know, I know y'all like that Holy Spirit, and he does. You like the Holy Spirit that, that lives on you, but I like that Holy Spirit that lives in me. Yeah, 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 that lives in me. I don't even talk about how he walks with me and talks with me. Y'all know what his assignment is. He, he brings peace in our life. He brings comfort in our life. It, 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 the, reason, the reason he had to go away, he wanted to walk by faith so that the Spirit of God, watch this, can be in every child watch, to guide us, to help us, to comfort us, to instruct us in the ways of God. That, that's why, that's why, ladies and gentlemen, I asked the question, now, what you looking at? If you're looking at him, he's giving you everything you need to be successful or to be fruitful in this life. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a representative on the inside of us. Mm. I said, we have a representative, mama, on the inside of us. I ain't talking about your liver, your kidneys. I ain't talking about your intestines. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost. Bumped your name for the fourth time. So he talking about the Holy Ghost. He talking about, he talking about that promise that Jesus left here. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He left the promise here. He left the promise. Here's the, here's, here, here's the, here's the third reason. We finna shout our way out of here, mama. Here's the third reason. Tequila, here's the third reason right here. We gone. We gone. We gone. We gone in there. Here's the third reason. First reason was what? First reason was what? Because he had to lead the Holy Spirit. He had to lead the Holy Second reason, he wanted to walk by faith. The reason he wanted the disciples and us to walk by faith, remember, uh, they don't know what it is to live the same life without Jesus being there. Right. He called them, so all they, that's why they were disappointed when he, when he died on care. That's why they, they, were, they were gazing in heaven when he was going away again. They were worried. Jesus, I got to leave because I'm going to leave you some. I'm going to leave you somebody that's going to comfort you. you don't, don't worry about me. I need for you to carry out this assignment. The third reason, the third reason Jesus had to go, the third reason that Jesus had to go to heaven was because to make intercession on our behalf. Y'all don't know where to shout at. Oh, it's in the text right there. He had to go to heaven so that he can make intercession on our behalf. Behalf. His, his, yeah, his, his presence in heaven is why the saints of God are eternally secured. The only reason the devil can't get up because we got an intercessor. Y'all yeah. don't know where to shout. The, the reason, the reason when you fall, the reason when you sin, the reason when you slip up, the devil, uh, you don't die and go to hell because you got an intercessor. Yeah. The Bible said that the devil is the accuser of the brother. Yeah. Every time you think a bad thought. He's up there telling God, I told you Thaley ain't no good. Look how he thinks. Every time you do a bad deed, that accuser of the brother is saying, look at him. He ain't no good. Every time you do something, you ain't got no business doing. He said, look, look. The accuser saying, look, but you got an intercessor. Yeah, you got an accuser. See, y'all y'all, y'all always talking about the devil, but you you ain't talking about the, the, this, this, this intercessor. What's an intercessor? He one that sits between the judge and the plaintiff. Y'all miss what I just said right there. You got an intercessor. You got somebody in between you and them. You got somebody between you and God. You got somebody between you and your problem. You got somebody between you and your heaven. Listen, he's interceding on your behalf. He's he's that, 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 that. That, 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 that sin that creeps in our lives and Satan tried to accuse us 
We got somebody that sits up there and say, hey, 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 you, you can't, you can't. I, I know, I know, I know, I know, Zandra, I know, I know, I know they messed up. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know you messed up. But, 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 Daddy, look, I paid the debt. Okay, okay, then y'all didn't shout right there. Now, now, the, the debt has already been paid. All, all you need to do now is believe. Okay, okay, okay. I know y'all don't like this kind of preaching right here because salvation is too easy. It's too easy. All you got to do now is believe it. Mm -hmm. Believe it. And when you believe it and you start walking in it, you have understanding and, and realize that whatever you do, the debt has already been paid. Somebody say it's already been paid. The debt has already been paid, so he's interceding for it. In other words, that, that when he's on the throne, we's on the throne. I said we. So yeah, yeah, we are on the throne. When he, uh, when he is on the throne, we are on the throne. We are in Christ Jesus. We are in him. We are in him. We are, we are, we are united together. We are tied together. We are linked together. He is my elder brother. He is my savior. He is the, is the lover of my soul. We are tied together. Somebody shout, we are tied together. So that leads me to my last question, which is my first question. What are you looking at? Why are you looking at all this other stuff and he's guaranteed you a seat in his kingdom? Why are you worried about and looking at all this other stuff when he's guaranteed you an avenue to the Father? Why are you looking at, why are your eyes not in the right place? I shared with you earlier that we got to have the eyes of the disciples. Our eyes are to be fixed on Jesus. Somebody say, my eyes are fixed on Jesus. Come on, say it with authority. My eyes are fixed on Jesus. I'm not going to take my eyes off him. I see the promise of the Holy Spirit. I see him in my life. I see him working some things out on my behalf. I see him healing my body. I see him giving me breakthroughs. I see miracles happening in my life. I see my children coming home. I see my relationship getting better. I see my church getting stronger. I see a better me because my eyes are fixed on Jesus. I just shared with you that you got to look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. I feel old church right here. I need all my old saints to help me. I will look to the hills from which cometh my help. My help come from the Lord. I wish I had my church up in here tonight look at your neighbor and help me close say neighbor I'm going to do what the scripture says I'm not going to look to Washington D.C. I'm not going to look to Joe Biden Lord have mercy I'm not going to look Help me, Jesus. To Donald Trump, Jesus, Jesus. I'm not going to look. I love you, Kay. To Montgomery, I will look to the hill. Y'all ain't helping me preach. I need for somebody in this room to look up. I need for somebody in this building tonight look up look at jesus the soon coming king look at jesus y'all ain't looking y'all looking at me i say look up it's in the hills where the blessing is it's in the heavens where the promise is look up look up child look up child of god Look up, look up, saint. Y'all ain't looking. I need for you to look to the hill. Do me one more favor, and we getting out of here. Grab your neighbor. I feel like preaching this part. I say, grab your neighbor. Pull them up if they ain't up. Snatch them up if they ain't up. 
said, one thing I need you to do, I need you to look up. That's what the lame man did in Acts chapter 3. He was on his back. He could not walk. He was at the gate called Beautiful. The Bible said Peter and John came walking by and they looked at the lame man down on his back. They looked up. He looked up when they reached down. All I'm trying to say is your ability to get up is when you look up. I need somebody in this room tonight. Throw your head back and look up to the heaven. And while you're looking up, be just like that lame man. Throw your head up. The Bible said he reached up and he looked up. And when he reached up and he looked up, he got up and did something that he never done before in his life. He started walking. Is there anybody need to get up and start moving? Here's your word. Yeah, here's your word. God is going to lift you up. I said the Lord is going to lift you up. Shake that neighbor hand. Shake it real good. Y'all ain't shaking. Shake it like you're from United. Shake it like you're from Alabama. Shake it real good. Shake it like you got the Holy Ghost. Y'all ain't shaking. Y'all shaking like y'all scared tonight. I told you it was a one night revival. You got to get it while you can. I'm getting up because I'm looking up. Tell your neighbor I'm getting up because I'm looking up. What you looking at? I'm getting up because I'm looking up. What you looking at? I'm getting up because I'm looking up. What you looking at? I'm getting up because I'm looking up. I don't know who I come to preach to, but somebody is walking out of your grave. Somebody is walking out of your situation. Somebody is walking to a greater destiny. Is that you? Open up your mouth and give God a shout. 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 I'm sorry, y'all, but I feel this down in my belly. I feel like that your season of being down is over. I feel like that your time of being in the dungeon is over. If you can look up, you can get up. God is about to amaze you. I'm gone. Bye-bye. But I didn't tell you this. I told you. He appeared. I told you. He assembled. I told you. He amazed you. But what I did tell you, he's getting ready to anoint you to do what you couldn't do. You couldn't get up, but you anointed. You couldn't see, but you anointed. You couldn't do it, but you anointed. Slap somebody. A matter of fact, slap about 10 folks and tell them, I am anointed. I am anointed to do his will. I am anointed for breakthrough. I am anointed for miracles. I am anointed.
no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper because I am anointed. I'm gone for real. But this for all of y'all that's been struggling. This for all of y'all that's been going through a dark season. Weeping may endure for a night. You, but I'm going to look to the hills from which come in my help. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. What a in season, on time word. Amen. Amen. We got a lot of stuff to look at in this season. But the thing that we need to be focused on is Jesus. Amen. Amen. Scripture say don't look to your left. Don't look to your right. Amen. But keep your eyes focused on him. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise in this place. Hallelujah. 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 In the very first way, amen, to get your focus clear. Amen. If you have not accepted not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Now would be the opportune time to do that, to make Jesus your choice. Get your focus. Get your focus. Get your, get your view clear. That's the first step to getting your view clear. Amen. Amen. If you have not accepted him, amen, we certainly want to extend that opportunity to you here in the sanctuary or online, they're gonna put some information on the screen. There is a number that you can text, amen, and say, I gave my life to Jesus today. I made Jesus my choice today. Hallelujah, it ain't nothing hard about it. It's a very simple process. It's a very personal process, amen. It's a very personal process. That's your decision, amen. The Bible has concluded anybody that calls on the name of Jesus, shall be saved if you confess with your mouth the lord jesus and believe that god raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved that's the word amen and we extend that opportunity to you today whether it be amen if you would like prayer amen or partnership you can text that number as well amen amen come on give the lord some praise in this place, hallelujah, hallelujah, some praise in this place. I would not dare close without giving you an opportunity or extending an opportunity for you to sow into that word, amen, amen. Or if you came in after we had already done offering, if they will put that giving information on the screen, we certainly want to give you an opportunity to sow into the word of God. I don't know about you, but sometimes our vision can get a little off. What we're looking at can look a little different. You know, things that we ain't supposed to be looking at. We look at each other rather than looking at God. Amen. Amen. We look at all kind of things. We look into the White House. Amen. It ain't looking too good right now, but we still going to look to Jesus. Amen. 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 We certainly, amen, thank and praise God for everybody who came out on tonight. Amen. So if you did not have an opportunity to give, we want to extend that opportunity to you at this time. Amen. They're going to put that information on the screen, how you can give. 
Amen. You can give by Cash App, Givelify, the website. Amen. Amen. Or if you want to just drop it, amen, I guess it's a bucket circulating somewhere. Amen. You can do it that way as well. Amen. How many of you were blessed tonight? Amen. Amen. How many of you were blessed tonight? Amen. Amen. The word of God was fresh. Amen. The word of God will revive us all over again. Amen. Amen. Because sometimes situations and circumstances, amen, can make us forget what to look at. Amen. Amen. So it's good to be reminded, amen, that we need to be looking at Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't forget, don't forget the 22nd, November the 22nd will be our citywide Thanksgiving feast. Amen. Citywide, statewide. Amen. Thanksgiving feast. Amen. Please, uh, if you can, we do need volunteers. We need cooks. We need servers. We need anybody. So if your schedule is free on Friday the 22nd, or you can make yourself available. We certainly would appreciate that. Amen. If you could be a part of that day. You know, we feed all of our first responders, city and county workers. Amen. And, of course, all of you. So please keep that in mind. It is um, Friday, November 22nd. Amen. Our citywide Thanksgiving feast. So please be mindful. And, again, we do need volunteers. We need cooks. Amen. Amen. We need cooks. Say that about two or three more times. We need cooks. <laughs> we, need, we need cooks. Amen. And we need servers. Amen. Amen. Certainly want you to keep that in mind. Amen. Amen. This Saturday, this Saturday, if you are available, the Alabama Gulf Women Women of Alabama, go for somebody. Amen. We'll have a luncheon. <laughs> have a luncheon <laughs> at uh, 10 a.m. in Montgomery. Uh, so if you would like to be a part of that or can be a part of that, please make yourself available for that as well. Amen. I believe that is all of our announcements. I do believe that's all of our announcements. Amen. So all hearts and minds are clear. Amen. Let us stand. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, oh God, for this night, oh God. Father, we thank you for the word has gone that has gone forth. We thank you, God, that we have an ear to hear and a heart to receive what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto us. So, God, no matter what our circumstances may be, what, no matter what our situations may be, Father, we will remember to look to you, Father. We will look to to the hills from which cometh our help. Now, God, as we leave this place, we certainly do not leave your presence, O oh God. We thank you for the angels that you've already given charge over us, O oh God. Father, we thank you that there will be no incident or accident, God, that we will make it to our various destinations safely. And when we get there, Father, we will pause and we will look up and we will give your name all of the praise and all of the glory.